I'm thinking today about how the president is mocking Dr. Ford and um, in some ways all victims of sexual assault who are brave enough to tell their story. And so I want to offer some inspiration from my cell group last night. We discovered that Jesus himself had this moment, actually more than one moment, um, where he was getting mocked and challenged like that just for being himself and telling his story. Um, When he told the people that he was the light of the world, the Pharisees, the religious leaders, uh, the authorities of that time challenged him and they said, there you, there you go again, Jesus, uh, appearing as your own witness, standing alone, and then that makes your testimony not valid. And Jesus comes back with this beautiful answer. He says, even if I appear as my own witness, my testimony is valid because I, I know where I came from and I know where I'm going. And he goes on to explain that his authority and his confidence is in his relationship with God. He's actually not alone. And that actually fulfills their little rules about whether a testimony is valid or not, because you need two witnesses. But more than that, I think his example and his presence with us now reveals that your story matters, you matter. Your testimony is valid because you are not alone. God is with you. And I think a a lot of us have been through things that we can barely sort out in our own hearts. They're confusing. And some of us have been taken advantage of. And um, it's hard to work through on our own, let alone, or with a therapist or a pastor, you know, let alone tell our story like Dr. Ford is, um, but I'm just out here on my phone to say that it matters to God. Your suffering matters. God sees you and all that you have been through. And that's why I hope that every, every circle of hope meeting, especially cell groups are opportunities to actually be known, to listen to one another, not to mock or challenge each other's stories, Um, but to actually be heard because I I think that's how the truth is revealed that you are an incarnation. Um, we're trying to do that more than apply abstract theological concepts to our lives where we're living in the reality that God knows us and that we are not alone. So I hope you can take that with you today. Peace.